my. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah.
Sorry.
Yeah. Dad, you looked happy and smiled at me. Big bro, I love my dad. Huh? Oh, uh, I love you too. Dad didn't forget about how we used to pick flowers at Samagawa. He smiled at me and said, you remember too? Dad loves Mom. I feel sorry for him losing someone he loves. Yeah, I won't go anywhere. I'm glad to be Dad's daughter. to talk.
Senpai. Hi. You're back. to 
Fancy meeting you. Of course. I'm giving this to you. Good night. Yo. Hmm. 
Senpai! Right, punk! Quit it! Thanks, man.
Thanks. You're back. Good job. I'll be going. Goodbye now.
Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm now Kikonishi. Sorry. Goodbye. You're back. See you later.
Yeah. The other day I went to visit Dad's grave. It's the first time I went on my own. I had a lot to tell him. Up to now, I never could look Dad square in the eye. I, you know what I mean. While he was living, after he died, I feel like I was running away the whole time. Dad told me something right before he died. If you're a man, you have to become strong. Felt like he was telling me I wasn't a real man. Pissed me off. So I changed my looks and pushed myself away from people. Fighting gangs, thinking I was keeping mom safe, and even trying to catch the killer. I was just being stubborn. I thought all that was how I was becoming strong. That I was really making up for all the trouble I caused. I was drunk off my power. But that wasn't it. That ain't what dad meant. I still don't really get what being strong means, but I'm gonna start by not lying to myself. No more being scared of everyone, hiding my hobbies, staying away from people. Anytime, any place, I'm gonna bust right through as my own self. That's the way to deal with that other me in the TV world. As long as there's someone like that snot-nosed kid to accept me, I ain't afraid of nothing. Sir, it's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put those dolls of mine up for sale at the shop. They were a big hit with that kid and his mom. They called me just to say thank you. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. Oh, I gotta go buy supplies. I need a jet. You're back.
Welcome back. Delete. 
too. Is this really your first time snowboarding? Just gotta keep your balance, right? Open up your stance. Do you get it? On. It's, it's easier said than. Huh? Oh! Oh! Damn, that hurt. Oh, oh, so sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, huh? You owe me a date. You won't get it. We've been down this slope a bunch of times now. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. But Teddy kept crashing into me. It's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nao-chan. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. So you were doing it on purpose, you bastard! You guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? So this was your first time skiing, Naoto-kun? How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji-kun is teaching me, but it's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. My fur's all frozen, too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. We've got tomorrow, too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? I didn't even notice it until now. I'm super hungry! What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I, I think it's so cooked in non-regional style. That non-regional part caught my attention. So... It's a non-style style? What is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. That's so mean! I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. I wasn't yelling! And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. But that's not true! It was thanks to the cookbook. I don't care which it was. And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. There's something more important at hand right now. The soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! How much of a carnivore are you? I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Meat. Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? No, we never do that. Bear meat is pretty gamey after all. You're so cruel, Yuki-chan!
Teddy oh. still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was gonna hold out in the bath until they showed up. Sheesh, what's he up to now? You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? What? That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me rather than people like that, senpai? Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed! So why don't we... No. But I didn't suggest anything yet! Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? Why don't we go night skiing? I've always been impressed by people who can do that. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories. I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. What? Stop it! Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff, too. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. And sometimes when you take pictures in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Whoa, that's pretty creepy. Oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. Folklore has little valid scientific evidence, but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t temple. So, um... You're scared too? Yes. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? Wait, wait seriously? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I sometimes get a little spooked. There's nothing to freak out over. I think. Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? Shut up, Moranji! Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? You stop calling me that, damn it! Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts creepy. Let's see. It was over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything. And soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead! They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Th that's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. 
That's not denying it. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? I think she turned up okay. Well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? Well, you're next. What do you have in mind? You're gonna do this to us too? It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? One time, at the inn, there was this... Zip it! What was that? I heard something. I heard something just now. That was... unusual? It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. You can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. It's freaky. Something about a nose that long? Ah! Uh, uh, blackout? Oh shit! Something just went past me! I told you I didn't want to do this! Why didn't you listen to me? Someone get the lights on! I can't take this anymore! Hurry! Uh, hang on! Where's the switch? How dare you to think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone. I'm gonna curse you. Get him? Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. <laughs> Babes, what's come over you? Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And, and, what happened after that? Time to hit the snow! Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night, too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. I told you over and over, the walls were thin. Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? Shut up. Who would want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway? I think I would. Just a little. I may have done a little listening. I heard things about Nao-chan's size and Yuki-chan's shape. Stop lying, Ted! We didn't talk about anything like that! Wait, what about my shape? Have I changed somehow? You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. Jeez, forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, senpai! Hold it right there. Risei-san, don't you think you're being a little too... You know, you've been hogging the same ski partner way too much? Huh? But it works out so nicely. You and Yosuke-senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko-senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto-kun. Hey, what are you getting at? So, it's only natural that I'd pair up with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. 
You don't have to worry about me. Come on, senpai! Let's go! Our logic is 100% ironclad! Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. Why are you impressed? Ahem. <clears throat> the, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with Senpai. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. Crap, you're right. You're right! I, I want to make memories with Senpai, too! Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. Th then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei, too. Um, hey! Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. Whoa, wait a sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? Th that would be best. I concur. <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. No prob. You've got a partner who understands your needs. Uh, well, let's go enjoy the slopes. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think there was anything you weren't good at, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No, not at all. Quit freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in or else you're gonna speed up. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. B but if I stand with my feet further apart, I I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. You're so nice, Kanji. You never said anything like that to me. You already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. Well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? They're doing that today, too? It's more like falling than skiing. Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. <laughs> ah, it's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoo hoo! Those two are looking good. I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. I feel bad that we're in other people's way, so. Shall we get going? Please, wait. Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop. Don't worry. Someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? Huh? That's what... Um, right! <laughs> Uh, um, well then, I'll be counting on you. Jeez, you're too nervous now, Tokun. You just need to ski straight. What the hell's he doing now? He's not even wearing skis! I think I'm going to walk.
You're back.